what, how, what was my response about going? So your answer was hell no when I first asked you. And uh, then I told you that that's fine. I'm coming anyway because I still want to show solidarity. And I think it's very important as long as it isn't violent. So we came to the understanding that if something bad starts to happen, then we'll just leave. And second protest. Do you feel like anything really came out of that? I did as well, because on the second protest, there were a lot more people in it. And then there were a lot of young people, as very a, a lot of Caucasian people, white people. And I think that everybody has to get together with the same goal, the same mindset to help change what's going on, our paradigm. By doing so, I think maybe it'll get better yeah i think so i think and then i think that's what the most of Amer americans feel um like you walked up at the end of the conversation when i was talking to the officers did you get any kind of a vibe from the officers a different vibe from the officers that were at the first event to the officers that were at the second event for sure first event everybody was there open mind uh very friendly good uh, demeanor um, everything was very organized on the first one. They knew what to do. And uh, here, on the second one, in, in front of the police station and, and just approaching you, they were on guard, I would say. Just waiting if, uh, if, if there was gonna be some, some violence or anything along the way. But uh, luckily it didn't happen. When you walked up, and as soon as I walked away from the officers, you asked me a particular particular question. Do you remember the question you asked me? Yeah, I asked you, are you fighting with Popo? Why would you ask me that? <laughs> because uh, I, once I approached you, it was sort of a heated conversation. So I just wanted to, to see what was going on. Thank you for taking your time. Slash Miami.com. Germbusters slash Miami.com. Hollywood. So you just came to support because you're familiar with the area oh, yeah. and you know so you heard all about it so you came down. Earlier I was at a peaceful another peaceful protest and I was at this one earlier when it was very peaceful and something I noticed is that the other one that I was at at two o'clock they had permits for this one they didn't have any permits for did you hear anything about that? They had a location in Lauder Hill yeah. and at the last second it got canceled. Mm -hmm. So then they moved it to here. Like at the last second, we got notified that it was moving to this location. And right, right. But it was beautiful. Yes, was I was here. It was peaceful. It mm -hmm. was nice. Right. And the, 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 so the, is the event over? Yes. The event ended mm -hmm. and the organizers told everybody to go home. To go home. Right. And, and now... And everybody was tired because we walked, right? Um, right, hard, yeah. Hard yeah. So everybody was just resting. Ready to go home. And then, but the organizers were like, we're done, right. everybody go, because after this, it's instigators. Uh -huh. So then we heard all these police over here and all, all the crowd ran, I don't know why, but my friend's car is over there, so she went to make sure that her car, you know, she could get out. I'm gonna head that way and walk a little bit. Um, my car is right there. Yeah, I'm parked around there, so. Okay. So I'm all not right, trying to down. head. Yeah, no, no, yeah, yeah. I, you know, I'm, I can understand. I think there's like a, a people want to bear witness. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So Definitely. I, I understand everybody wanting to bear witness mm -hmm. to what's happening. Do you did you see any kind of worse. Did you see any kind of pre people that were trying to cause trouble? I didn't see any you of that. You didn't see anything any of that. No. And the you first were, you I were saw marching. It was like some boy, you know, flicking off the police officer like mm -hmm. he was trying to provoke him. Yeah. But the organizers Took care of that. Took care the of that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Something is going on. I think that's tear gas. They're letting off down there. Um, you too. You too. Thank you. Human race. <clears throat> hey, you guys can. You want to answer some questions for my YouTube channel for me, sure, please? What's up? Um, were you here for the uh, for the protest? Did you come? Yeah, we come in three o'clock. Where'd you come from? Um, Hollywood. You came from Hollywood. Mm -hmm. So you heard about it through the internet? Yeah, my cousin. Okay. Your, your cousin. Did you end up going to the Lauder Hill place first? Yeah. And then end up having to drive over here. No, we walked here. You walked here from Lauder Hill. We walked um, over there and then walked back. Wow. To police uh, precinct. 
Yeah. No, 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 no. I mean, so because you came from Hollywood. Yeah. So you you came from Hollywood to go to the Lauder Hill because the, the event was supposed to be in Lauder Hill. Yeah, correct? it was, and then they switched it here. I had a um, a text message from one uh -huh. of my cousins, and they switched it here. So we came here. We've been here since three. Uh -huh. We walked to the police station, and then we walked back. Okay, so you didn't even have to go to, to Lauder Hill. You you got the message to come here. Yeah. Um, so the organizers of the event, I've heard that the organizers of the event said that it's over and you know people should go home. Mm -hmm. um, and I noticed a lot of people leaving, but I also noticed a heavy police presence and something going on that way. Any idea what? Yes, um, I started to walk over there. When mm -hmm. I started to walk over there, they started throwing tear gas. So I started to run the opposite way. So now I'm trying to... You guys got tear gas stuff? Yeah. yeah. That shit was intense. Wow. They started throwing that shit out of nowhere. Why? We, saw, we noticed them putting on their masks. Uh -huh. And then we started telling people and they started throwing that shit before anyone could do anything about it. Wow. Are you guys from here? I'm from Miami. Yeah, we're You're from, from Miami? Miami yeah. Okay. Awesome. Can you? They come every single fucking time. The people, people, we were peacefully protesting for hours. And out of nowhere, the police just started tear gassing. They were ready to they rode out on their bikes, staring. I'm pretty sure they wanted us to know that they were going over to Tennessee. And as soon as we started yelling, warning people that they were throwing them, we, we were on our knees, hands up, hands up, don't shoot. And as soon as we started yelling and telling people to scatter, those fuckers kept throwing cannons. Those fuckers kept throwing cannons. People were kicking them back and throwing them back. All right. I can't even sleep. I'm still up editing, but I had to interrupt. Listen to what this girl and this guy just said. She says they were on their knees, hands up, saying hands up, don't shoot. And as soon as she start, as soon as they started telling people to scatter, they were on their knees, hands up, don't shoot, and telling people to scatter. Let's get back to the video. Make sure you tune into the rest of the interviews. So, being from Hollywood and kind of knowing, do you you grew up here or you kind of you're new to the area? I grew up here. You grew up here, so yes. like me, like I grew up in Fort Lauderdale, yeah. so you 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 know the area. Yeah. Um, any kind of um, you notice anything like this in our area lately or, or before ever, ever before? Any kind of tension? I'm not talking about the um the police brutality and that. I'm just talking about the tension that in we general? have in general right now. In this, you know, in our in our Broward County, it's always been here. It's always been everywhere, honestly. Mm -hmm. And I'm ashamed to say that. So right now, I actually have my eyes open. I'm aware of what's going on. Right. And I'm angry now. And I should have been angry long ago. Yeah. <laughs> when I was interviewing this girl, it felt like I was being told a script. Now that I'm editing it, it feels like. I'm editing a script. Do me a favor. Put your opinion in the comment box. I really want to know. I really want to know. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. Hit the subscribe button for me. Hit the like button. Get the algorithms going. Do me a favor. Smash the like button. Because you see what happened is whenever you smash that like button, it, it forces the algorithm to push the video into somebody else's um, feed somebody like that has a, a has a mind kind of like yours smash up the like button let's get this video shown we can't trust media no more we can't trust them no more if you haven't subscribed hit the channel put on you know hit the um the bell put on your notification you ain't gonna find nothing but truth over here yeah pretty much pretty it's much up. did you there was another event earlier that the um that the police the um the police uh chief not the chief but broward county sheriff he was actually at the event earlier and they had a, um, another event that was, um, that was, I should say, monitored by them, by the, by the police. They, police joined forces with them and, and that seemed to go a lot more peaceful. Um, I was speaking with the police earlier and they were telling me that they didn't know about this event. They didn't know where, where we were going and anything like that. So that's why they have a different tone. Any, any, any feelings on anything like that? 
understand why they should have a different tone if it's fighting for the same thing. That's, I mean, that does that does make sense. But I mean, you know, from somebody that that that's experienced pr pr police brutality, a lot of it growing up here, right here in Fort Lauderdale, um, I do know that there's certain things that we can do as a people to not provoke them, right? And uh, like I said, the the event earlier that was scheduled for two o'clock, that event, um, it was monitored by them. They had permits. This event, they didn't have a permit for. Um, but this, it seems like this event was a lot bigger and now turning violent because the police, don't you think they should, don't you think they kind of have a, a right to have a different tone because they didn't, I mean, the channels are open for us to organize things with them. So do, don't you think that they, 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 they possibly have a, have a reason to have a different tone right now? You don't think so? Why, why don't you feel so? Because what they do is not right and hasn't been right for years and for generations. That, that's very true. That's, that, that's very true. But, I mean, that really doesn't have, have anything to do with the fact that they, they are police and they are here to create, to, 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 to keep order. So if the citizens aren't acting orderly, I mean... Don't you kind of feel like they're doing their job? At that point, at least? Their job is to protect us. Right. Everybody. So, so if Everybody. right now... Absolutely, everybody, everybody. So right now, our city, Fort Lauderdale, the city that I grew up in, right? Right now, the police that police our area have no idea what's going on in our city. So like me, they feel edgy, right? Because... Earlier, there was a planned event, and come on, guys, they're tear gas. Come on, guys. Tear, tear gas in the service. Thank you for taking time. Let me just get your um, your thing. My thing is gonna. Y'all see this? Y'all see this? People is gearing up, ready to do what they want to do. This is not normal, bro. This is not normal. This is not what it's about, right? Now. So not what it's about. Look at this. this is so not what it's about. Look, look at the cameraman coming from set up. Look at him. Look at look at him from this from set up. From set up shop. Huh? Look at look at this. Look at this. The organizer, like I said, the organizers already said they're going home. My man got his milk ready. You ready? Yeah, you ready? Right. Can, you, right. I got a YouTube channel. You mind if I ask you a couple questions, dog? What's up? Urban cup cup. So where you came from? You you stay down here? Yeah, yeah, we're from Lauderdale. You're from Lauderdale. Yeah. Okay, okay, perfect, perfect. Um, reason I wanted to ask you: the organizers of the event said it's over. Said go, I told everybody to go home. The, um, the organizers, the organizers at an actual event that took place today. It's not um, over. It's not over. Their portion no. is probably over. I didn't hear you. Maybe their portion of it is probably over. Okay, okay, but this is a different portion of it. We're just getting here. To tell you the truth. Y'all just getting yeah. here. Okay, okay. Yeah. So All right, no cool. More people in the park? Huh? No Where more people people in the park? There was no park. No, that park was never. It was that park right there. There's no. That, no, it's completely over. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, all right, man. Uh, thank you. Are you Are you from the area of Fort Lauderdale? No, we're from. Uh, yeah, we're from around here. We're from Broward. Oh, how'd you hear about the event today? Uh, on an online uh, Facebook. On Facebook. A Facebook thing. Yeah. You know what time it was ending? Shit. Supposed to be, yeah. you, know, you know, just yo, you never know, you just never it know. Depends, it depends on what pops off, okay? Okay, you know what I mean? Cool, cool, cool. Thanks, man. So, let me ask you, what do you think the actual problem is? Problem is fucking a racist fucking uh judicial system from the police to the prosecutors to the courts, the whole thing, and where they go to find the people to put in there. They go right to the hood, bro. Yeah. You think yeah. you think these white kids ain't walking around here with, with, with weed in their pocket? Bro? Right. They see a black man, they pull him over right away. So you grew up right here in Fort Lauderdale? I grew up in Philly. So one of us is confused. It's either it's him or it's me. No, I'm damn confused. But it sounds like he's confused too because he said that he grew up in Broward, which nobody grows up in Broward. Like I said before, you either grew up in Lauderdale um, a lot of hills, sunrise, uh, um, coral springs, a plantation, downtown, um, you know, Las Olas. Uh, 
nobody says they, they, they grew up in Broward, first of all. So I knew the dude was lying to me from jump. By the end of the interview, he grew up in Philly. Now, did you grow up in Philly or did you grow up in Broward? 